So hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to introduce another uh, automation tool which is Puppeteer and how can we perform the automation with Puppeteer. So in this tutorial series we are going to cover all the basics about the Puppeteer and then we will see at the end one end to end automation framework. So we will be that we are going to design an automation framework. So before that uh, we are going to start it from scratch and we will understand what is Puppeteer, why we will to use it and how can we set up, how can we perform example with uh, um, with uh, small elements like input fields or button drop down, text, text work, how can we put weight there, how can we use assertions, how can we design hooks, uh, device simulation, UI testing and then we move to framework. So this is the introduction video and let's read about the Puppeteer, what is Puppeteer. <coughs> Puppeteer is a node library and node has a lots of other libraries so this, this is uh, just another library for the node. And this is used to control the Chrome browser and it means uh, it's going to control the Chrome browser means we are going to write the code in Node.js or JavaScript and we are going to control the, the Chrome browser. So basically this is the automation. So it is going to help us to um, handle the Chrome browser. So it has some extra features. That's why we are going to use it. And let's see what are these features. So as I said, Puppeteer is a node library that is used to handle the Chromium and Chrome browser. <coughs> Puppeteer supports headless automation by default. And what it mean by the headless automation? It means like we can run it means we uh, are going to run our automation suite over the Chrome browser, but it's not going to not going to open a browser, so you can't see the execution. So this is the nature of the Puppeteer. It's a it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a feature of the Puppeteer, and it's a by default. Like we don't need to set any uh, property as a headless. It's automatically take is by default. It will take as a headless. So, but it has a feature that we can add some line of code and we can make it as a Headful. So it means it's going to be uh, open the browser and the user can see or you can see the execution over there. <coughs> and other thing we can take a screenshot over the page and we can take the PDF also. We can convert the complete page in the PDF and get it. And the most important feature of the dialogue is the device simulation. It has a view ports and we can run the test suite in any kind of any um, size of device. So it's really good for the responsive texting. So, as I said, we can perform UI testing, input form, some measure, keyboard inputs, button clicks, and in this operation, we can perform other option of operation. We can perform a screenshot and PDF of the page. And the most important things automatically, when we are going to install it and to run, it will take the latest version of the Chrome browser. So, you don't need to worry about the versions. So what version they are going to use? So whenever it's, uh, it's load the library, uh, when it's load the Chromium and library, which will be the latest version of the browser. So it's up to date automation testing. We can say yes. It can capture performance issues as well. Later on in some video, we'll see how can we measure the performance of a web load. So Puppet is going to help us for the performance testing as well. So. The most important thing uh, before we start the tutorial, write the tutorial and start writing the code. What exactly we need to start the, this automation? So we need an editor. So uh, we can use Notepad, uh, Notepad++ or we have other choices as well like uh, Sublime is there. So we can use the Sublime text, we can use Visual Studio, it's also open source and available free. Sublime also is open source and available free, but where is Tom? I think this is not free. I think we have to pay. I didn't use it, but we have to pay after the trial or something. So uh, I prefer to use Visual Studio Code. So it's really cool, and uh, I enjoy to code in this. And so I have already installed this, and will show you how can you also install inside of the thing. So editor is clear now. <coughs> what the, the run engine or like uh, library we need to install there. So at the very first, we need a Node.js in our system. So the first step or to set up the uh, Puppeteer is install the Node.js in your machine. So I'm going to use to I'm going to use a window machine and I'm going to install Node in my machine. So let's see how can you uh, install this. 
so you can click on this uh, nodejs.org um, slash en slash download this is the official website of nodejs and you can choose any installer according to your operating system so my operating system is windows and i will to let me see if any other special thing there no <clears throat> so just install installer for the 60 bit for my system so i'm going to install and download this file so let it be download and we have to wait until it's going to be download just yeah. so it's file of size 131 mb so it will take some time so let's wait for that and let's move there so also i will provide the link in the description box for this tutorial so this return so you don't worry about to remember this urls and all that so just go there and follow these steps there so okay so now download is done and let's see how to install this node.js yes. let's double click on that and it's not a big thing or rocket science it's going to be simple things but uh, we are going to start this tutorial from scratch so you can check it um, if you are good at with this but uh, let's see click on the next accept the agreement click on next then also you can change the installation location but i'm going to use by default uh, location which is c slash program files and not js again I'm going to click on next then next <clears throat> automatically install the necessary tools you can read it out if you want you can check or not. if you don't want uncheck it so i don't want install so click on install just if you can see a pop-up just click on the yes button then installing not js so going to be process it will take a while like some seconds or some minutes. Just wait. So might be it will take some time, so leave it like this and let's talk about the puppet a little bit more. So in Puppeteer, we can perform the regression testing, visual regression testing. Also, it means uh, also the most important thing we can use the mobile simulation, the device simulation, which is something like we can we have a parameter like we can pass the screen size and we can run our testers and any kind of. Uh, screen size and in just really uh, simple like we have to change the one line or two line code and we can perform this oh it's going to hide in there right i know why it's going to out of my screen uh, let me fix this and then we'll get it so it's fixed now. I just hit the enter because I can't able to see the screen. But uh, the enter it will go and installation is done. Now when I run uh, my command prompt, same way. And let's check the uh, Node.js version. So not so to check the uh, Node.js version, we have command like simple command. which should be there. Node underscore e hyphen v. So I'm going to pass here node v and you can check it's showing me a version it means this installation is done and it is there it's available in the system another most important important thing we need an editor you can use as i uh, said you can use any editor but we are going to use uh, visual studio code you can download this uh, from here in this link code visualstudio.com this is the official link and you can install it easily one or two step and when you're going to use it first time it will show you like this but let me run it again for you so and how to start a project or set up with this so it's really simple simple editor you just need to go 
just create a uh, tutorial at any location of your system so for example i'm going to choose the desktop location of my system so i'm going to create a folder here for tutorial and i'm going to open this folder and going to perform all the activities here just move there <coughs> go to files and select open folder and like this and just select this folder <coughs> so it will automatically open that folder for you and it's ready to work there so we can create a files under this folder and from next tutorial we'll start the code and sorry before we start we need to pass some commands to install everything required thing so it has terminal also in the visual studio so just click on this terminal the bottom the window is there so now we can perform our all the commands from here so the names are not be showing you that side here so this two things that required the node.js installation and the visual studio uh, this visual studio code so from the very next tutorial we will perform over the very first uh, Although Mason is script in the puppet here and